<laughs> you know, my brother, he's always driving these things and they're a lot of fun. I thought what we would do right now is just take a look at the site and explain a little bit why we chose this particular place to put the house. So come on, let's go over here and take a look. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. So let's talk about basic directions first. What we have is a house that's going to have the front facade of it or the face of it here, which is going to face north. It's going to look across this pastoral landscape. Well, it's a pastoral landscape through the summer and fall and winter, but in the spring, it's loaded with daffodils. You can't believe the number of daffodils we've planted up there. Now, the house sits 45 feet off of the road up here, and this is the corner point. This would be the northeast corner of the house here that we've got it flagged off with some flagging tape. Now, the reason for siting the house on this southern slope is multifold. We really try to go back to the thinking of really early writers about the siting of houses like Alberta. You want to take advantage of the prevailing winds. You want to think about the sun and winter and through all the seasons. You also want to think about the shade and canopies and so forth. And so here, what we're going to have is as the sun crosses the southern sky in the winter, it's going to shine down through this break in the trees. In the summer, we have a canopy of trees to the east and to the west, which will help keep the house cool. The prevailing winds here, they tend to come from the west to the east, which will blow across here, which will come across the porches that are gonna be on both the front and the back side of the house. Now the house itself is very small, it's 1,600 square feet, and from this corner will run 26 feet in this direction. So it's basically a rectangle. Now, what I wanted to do here is build a house on a lot that would be kind of a standard size lot. So it's 50 feet wide and 100 feet deep. And from this point, which is the front corner of the house, uh, the northeast corner of the house, uh, going down here is 26 feet. At the fall on the land, you can see the slope here. We fall about five feet from this point, 26 feet back. And you can see the red tape down there tied to one of those honeysuckle vines. So it gives you a rough idea of where the house is gonna fit in this place. The idea of pulling the house back 45 feet from the road is because this is a gravel road and there's dust that comes up in the summer. And I wanted to make sure that the front porch was far enough back that it just didn't get totally polluted with dust and soil on it. You see this old dirt road will get covered with gravel eventually, but we wanna get the construction or the, the basic part of the construction done before we bring any fresh gravel in. We're trying to be ahead of the rains, so we wanna get the foundation done and try to get this house in the dry. This is a crazy project. We have to get wrapped up in 150 days, so if you wanna follow along, you and your friends, just subscribe to the eHow Home channel.